The man who used to manage the plant has died. Masao Yoshida was one of the Fukushima 50 who worked after the accident to prevent a broader catastrophe. He died after a battle with cancer of the esophagus. NHK World's Chiaki Ishikawa reports. Masao Yoshida had managed Fukushima Daiichi for just nine months when he was confronted with the biggest challenge of his career. He was in charge at the time of the accident, then led the fight to bring the reactors under control. He recounted his experiences in November 2011, about eight months later. After the accident, to be honest, I thought several times that I might die. I felt the plant was out of control, so I thought, this is the end. Yoshida sometimes struggled with the tensions of his job. Officials from Tokyo Electric Power Company released video of a conference call that took place three days after the accident. Yoshida exchanged some harsh words with officials from TEPCO and the Prime Minister's office. Yoshida did things his own way. At one time, officials in the Prime Minister's office told him to stop injecting seawater into one of the reactors. He ignored the request. In late 2011, doctors diagnosed Yoshida with cancer of the esophagus. He left his post. Officials with TEPCO insist the cancer was not caused by exposure to radiation. Residents forced to leave the area after the accident have mixed feelings. He did his best. I admire him. I think he's responsible for the accident. Yoshida pushed those around him to do what they could even though he knew the gravity of what they were facing together. He said he wanted to go back to work even after he got sick. Masao Yoshida was 58. Chiaki Ishikawa, NHK World, Tokyo.